Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Emma and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today is Friday the 23rd of October and it's also like the first day of the long weekend. So in New Zealand here we have, it's Labor Weekend. So we have Saturday, Sunday and Monday off. Not that it really matters for me because my university is basically finished. Since there is this long weekend, I am going away with my family. So, well, not my brother, he's still at uni, but my mum and my dad and they are currently in Hamilton, but they're charging the car. So they've come from Auckland through Hamilton, picking me up, and we're going to our batch in Whangamata. So, I'm very excited. Um, I haven't been there in a very long time. And this is my house for the next three days. Cozy, cozy. Yay, how fun. Hello guys, welcome to the family's home away from home. I don't know if I've announced on YouTube that my parents have a camper van, but they have a camper van. I did film us picking it up and everything, but I never posted it because I didn't know if that was gonna be interesting content. So this has been this has been a happening thing for a number of months now. Obviously been at uni, I haven't actually had a chance to spend any time in it. So uh, now's my time to shine. You're probably a bit confused because we do have a family batch here in Fongwata, but we're renting it out to some people at the moment. So we've got the camper van and we are staying on our family friends back lawn because they're away in their camper van actually they're in South Island. So I'm here with old mate Peter. Owen and I bought this for mum and dad so they can take it around all their trips and they send us photos to a family group chat which has mum and dad and me and Owen and Matt and Sage in it so that's really cute. We can see everywhere they're going with um, little Peter and he just chills right there. I'm down here until what day are we going home? Wednesday. Yeah Wednesday night mum and dad have taken me back to Hamilton. I was going to drive myself over but mum and dad were passing through Hamilton to look at an open home anyway so I just jumped in with them and came back down here. But yeah, you're probably wondering why the camp van is already here. Also, I've been eating M&Ms, so uh, yeah. They have been working down here in Whangamata at the pharmacy covering, because they're both pharmacists, covering for the pharmacists down here for nearly two months now, actually. So they've been living here like Saturday to Wednesday, going back to Auckland for Thursday, Friday. So they haven't been living in the camp van the whole time. They're staying at the back, oh, but there's been a few... Dad's excited because he got a new TV. They haven't adjusted it yet. They've been living in the batch, but there's been a few occasions where the batch has been rented out, so they've just been staying in the camp van and campgrounds and stuff. But I'm down here until Wednesday. I do have a uni test on Tuesday, but it's online, so I'm just going to do that on Tuesday. It's currently 20 minutes to 8, and Owen is not with us because he is in Napier on a football tournament at the moment, so he just snapchatted me. He's arrived down there. And yeah, I kind of wish you guys weren't working because we could have gone on the camper van down to Napier. We could have. right there. We probably would have. I know. Dumb. Alright, makeshift tripod. Today we're using a book. Welcome to the camper van, guys. We just went for a walk down to the wharf to use the public toilet so we didn't have to use the ones in here. <laughs> Got my. I actually had. Mum and Dad bought picked me up from uni, so I had dinner at uni before we came. Well, a little bit. It was like bad and fish. But it's now much later, so I'm kind of having two dinners. But Mum just gave me a kombucha. And it was some M&M's, this is my entree. <laughs> and we got some fresh fish that Dad caught yesterday when we were fishing with some mates in Auckland. Cheers. Dinner is served. There's a snapper. Fish cooking over here and also cutlery that Owen and I got Mum and Dad for Christmas. Good morning guys, night one in the camper van complete. It's currently 8 o'clock, we actually woke up at 7.30 because Mum had an alarm sick. She's off to work. Is that what you read to work? Oh, that's what I am today. Oh, that's quite nice. Is that alright? Yeah, I like your top. Oh, oh, the yawns. Mmm, late night for me last night. Didn't go to bed till like, what was it, like midnight? Yeah, whoa, I have a, I normally go to bed like 10 o'clock. Anyway, was woken up this morning by these beautiful skylights um, that don't have curtains, which we uh, learnt. <laughs> learnt this morning. Got a beautiful. Sunrise is of a spot right here, but mum and dad are off to work to start work at 8 30. Nine. Nine, nine. I, was, I just said that out loud. I was like, there's no way you guys can get ready in half an hour. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do because I won't have a car because they're taking the car to work. Yeah, use my little feats, but normally our batch is like right by my best friend Paige's place, like literally three minute walk. And now we're on the complete other side of Whangamata. Not too sure how that one's gonna work, because that would take me like an hour to walk there, not that long. But I don't even think Paige, I don't even think she's left Auckland yet, but she's coming down today at some stage, so that means I can go and visit her. Yeah, I've heard from Owen today, he's, I don't know if I mentioned, but he's away in Napier 
that's also the water pump. Welcome to camping with the Stevens family. I don't know if I mentioned, but he's in Napier on a football tournament for under 19s. So if you listen to the podcast, you already know that. But he's got three games today, so I think he starts at 11 a.m. and goes till 5:30, and the game's like 30 minutes each way. Gonna have to have a shower in the camper van. Already washed my hair yesterday, so hopefully I won't have to do that for the next three mornings. Dry shampoo's gonna be my best friend. You know that it's really depressing when you get more natural light in a camper van than you do in your own university bedroom. <sighs> right, time to cook some toast on our awesome toaster. Two pieces of some multi grain toast. Turn the thing on first. On th first? How do you turn it on? This, I need two hands for this, don't I? Yeah. That way. And it cooks really fast. So you can't, you don't have time to do anything else. Alrighty, toast is cooked. You can see that it's like, it cooks like on one side before it like cooks. Oh yeah, that's, mm. um, we will just turn that over the other way. But this was <laughs> mum's dirty plate because we are not going to do any more dishes than we need to because that wastes water. It may look a little bit like bird seed spread on toast, but I promise you it's good. It's this fix and fog everything butter so you can see oh, all of the seeds that it has in it. I found out about this in lockdown. Obviously I haven't been able to have it since because you best believe they don't pay for that at uni. It is, I think my heard mum say nine minutes to nine. Eight minutes to nine and mum and dad have just gone off to work. So I have the house or the camper van to myself for pretty much the whole entire day. So that's awesome. Love coming on a family holiday and having my family ditch me. But you know, that's, I, I knew I was signing up for that so it's okay. Paige, I don't think she... Actually, let me check snap maps. I don't think she's left Auckland yet. So she won't be here anytime soon. My basically, I don't know Paige, I don't know if you realise this, but... You're the only reason I've really come to Fongamata this weekend because I haven't seen you in months. And if you are confused as to her pages, I went to high school with her and she's my best friend. She is the OG. Oh no, okay, no. She was online an hour ago, so I assume that she is somewhere between here and Auckland. Why is the lighting in this camp van better than it is in my university room? That's what I want to know. I need to have a shower. And I'm, I'm kind of procrastinating it because I'm a little bit nervous because you can't just have a normal shower. You've got to like turn the shower on, get yourself wet, turn the shower off. Put body wash on, turn the shower back on, wash the body wash off, turn it off, dry yourself in this little tiny little space. Um, so, also haven't peed yet today, kind of procrastinating that too. Last night we went for a little bit of a walk and used the public toilet so that we didn't have to use the bathrooms here because the problem is like the water tank for like the, what's it called? Is it called black water? I think that's what they call it. Um, fills up really fast because obviously you have your business going in there, you've got your toilet paper going in there, and then you've got the water you use to flush the toilet. So the less you flush it, the more you can do. Sorry if that's a little bit TMI, but now you know. Also, <laughs> me lying here in bed last night realising that I signed myself up for a 10 day road trip in this camper van uh, at the end of next month. What have I done? But no, it's okay. Also, I'm just looking around, we're like parked in the backyard of our friend's property. And looking around, I'm just looking into everyone's like windows. Obviously, the curtains are shut because everyone's still asleep. But I'm just like, when these people wake up, I'm going to be in a goldfish bowl. Everyone's going to be able to see me. So that's awesome. So I might just get myself ready. I did consider for a second that I might do a workout. But I don't think I've said this on YouTube. But I've got like a back problem happening at the moment. I think it's just because I've been sleeping really weird. And obviously, this non-existent mattress ain't going to help that. So... But I really need to pee, so um, I'm gonna get myself ready for the day. Get you ready with me in a camper van. I'm nah, just kidding, it's so annoying. Kind of stuck here for the day. I can walk like into town and stuff, but like, can I be bothered? Not really. Do I have anyone to go with? Not really. Do I have any purpose to go into town? Not really, because I don't have any money to spend. So, ugh. Okay, I'm just procrastinating now. Let's get ready for the day. Alrighty, that was the fastest shower in history. You literally turn it on. When I turned it on, it was like cold, but I didn't want to waste the water, so I just had like a cold shower for the first like 10 seconds. And then the water warmed up, wet your body down, turn it off, soap yourself up, wash it off. Literally was in and out of the shower within like 45 seconds, which is amazing. Outfit, Princess Polly, A brand, I don't think they make these anymore. They are old season, but had them like two years or something. Now, what am I gonna do for the rest of the day, you may be wondering. Me too. I'm wondering the exact same thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Got no plans. Um, I might sit down and do a bit of reading. I am someone who I don't. I'm not a huge fan of reading. Never have been. But I have been making a conscious effort to read morning and night for the last couple of months, and I'm loving it. I've actually been reading the Bible. I've read the first four books of the New Testament, so Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, which are also the Gospels from when Jesus was 
walking on this planet. Might do a little bit of reading. I've moved on to Acts now, so I might read a couple of chapters. I also do get a bunch of questions about people who are interested in the Bible I read from. So this is the one I use. It's from when I went to Girl Guides, but for Christian girls. So we all got given Girls Brigade Bibles from the Girls Brigade of New Zealand. And it's a CEV version. It's obviously a children's Bible, so it tells you like how to read the Bible and stuff. But as I read, if I find something that's interesting, like what does that say? I tell you for certain that you will cry and you will cry, but the world will be happy or you will be sad, but later you will be happy. But I'm up to X. Too. If this isn't something you are interested in but you're still hearing me out, thank you so much because I know if it's not something you necessarily not necessarily believe in, then it's kind of hard to really have any interest in it whatsoever. But if you are hearing me out, thank you, do appreciate it because um, I feel like when I start to talk about the stuff, I feel like a lot of people just switch off. Um, so if you haven't switched off, thank you. Update for you guys with this really terrible angle. I read a couple of chapters of the Bible, really good. Just had a little bit of uh, praise and worship time. So the neighbours who kept me awake last night at midnight playing Sweet Caroline. Hope you got woken up by some um, nice uh, praise and worship music. Paige, I think, is coming to grab me. And we're going to go do some, I don't know, probably not do some stuff. Probably just go back to hers. Might just have some M&Ms. I was saying to mum, like, at uni, I just don't really buy snacks because I don't really want to waste my money and we get three meals a day anyway. So to have chocolate... Mm, don't get that very often. Sup? <laughs> How's it going? This is Paris. Hi. This is Paige. Still scared of the camera like she was last year. Good morning guys, it is Sunday today. I didn't really vlog a hope yesterday just because I was literally just hanging out with Paige and I haven't seen her literally since like April. So we were just like updating each other on our lives. Today, don't really have a plan either, which is uh, zero issues because it's been really nice literally just to do nothing. But I've got my little setup here, you can't really see the lighting's a bit. About to put on my hotspot and watch church. I am in my active wear at the moment because after church I will do a workout on the lawn outside which could be fun because there are prickles but we can work around that yeah mum and dad have gone off to work this morning they're working today from 9 till 4 30 heard from owen so proud of him his team's done so well so they first game they won one nil second game they won two no three nil and then next and then the last game they won two one and apparently he got a free kick and scored in the last two minutes so i'm very proud they've got three more games well two potentially three more games today depending on how well they go i am about to watch church and literally one minute and 10 seconds and I need to set up my hotspot. Also, quickly, this here is this church notes book which I got from Jess Conte's brand, Harper and Willow. Rachel and I have matching ones. But I am bringing out my own church notes book, if you will, in, I don't know, they're about, they're about to start getting made so it shouldn't be too long. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not have seen that I have um, done a little bit of a teaser for this little company called EJS Apparel. Um, take from there what you will, but you'll find out all about it very shortly. I want to set up church, got 30 seconds now, so gotta go. It is 10.07 and it is time, well church is finished. That was absolutely amazing. I knew we were having a guest speaker that isn't from Arise come to speak to us like online obviously. But I didn't realise it was Paul De Jong from Life Church who also you may have seen, like I heard that his, I heard his name and heard he was gonna be speaking to us but until he started actually talking I was like that voice sounds really familiar because if you're from New Zealand you may or may not have seen live TV on TV one I want to say on a Sunday morning yeah so I was like oh okay small world I'm gonna go do a workout and then I'll jump in the shower after that I'm just doing a real quick actually I'll show you guys why I'm gonna show you guys because I can show you because I'm not the gym and don't have to worry about other people being in the video okay so the workout I have planned is Kind of, if you've seen Sarah's Day's 25 minute one that she did, it's kind of the same format as that, except for instead of repeating the exercises for three times each, you just do it twice because I'm feeling a little bit lazy today. First one is made up of, so you can kind of, I'll put a screenshot of this in so you guys can see. First set is four exercises, you repeat them twice, you do them 30 seconds each. After you've done them all once, you have a 30 second rest and then do them all again. And then 30 seconds rest and move on to the next one. So I guess I'll just go ahead and do it. I will be using Sarah's Day's timer app just because it's so easy to use. Like I had the seconds app before her timer came out and it just didn't cut it out. Um, I'll post a screenshot of what I do for this if you guys use the app. It'll make it a bit easier for you guys. I'm just going to do it here. I set a towel out. I was just going to do it on the ground but there is actually prickles. So hopefully the towel will stop the prickles from attacking me. Actually, before I get started I will track this on my watch so I'll let you guys know what the like stats are and stuff but I will be listening to music and if you want to listen to the same music as me when you work out 
follow my chill playlist on Spotify and Apple Music. The links to both those are down below. Cool, let's go. minutes and 37 seconds 179 calories average heartbeat of 172 I'm gonna warm down now just like a yoga flow thing from Tuesday's ebook which unfortunately I can't show you because it is from the ebook um, and there's a little bit of copper issues there yoga flow shower and I'll catch you guys shortly I've had my shower, I probably don't look much different because I haven't washed my hair. There's a lemon tree like there and I was like, mum, do you mind, do you reckon mind if I like took a lemon? Mum's like, no. Nah. I made myself some lemon water. I've never had lemon water before but I've heard from various people on various platforms that it's very good for you. So here I have googled what are the benefits to drinking lemon water. Promotes hydration, good source of vitamin C, supports weight loss, improves skin quality, aids to digestion, freshens the breath and prevents kidney stones. Sounds pretty good to me. Can't really go wrong so we're gonna drink some lemon water. I suppose you're supposed to let it sit for a sec just to like let the lemon actually get into the drink. I'm actually pretty proud of how good I cut those lemons, not gonna lie. You don't hear the car coming home. You hear, you hear Dad's music coming home. <laughs> Lunch time, we have our little set up here outside the camp van. Got ham on last night's leftover buns from dinner with my Q Dad lemon water. Also, this is my third glass of lemon water, and I'm a bit concerned because it tastes really good, so I keep on drinking it. But the problem is that we can only like use the toilet so much here before it starts like filling up. So um, hopefully, it doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, you know what I mean. Righty. It it is one o'clock and we're going to charge the car because we obviously can't charge it here normally for the batch we just like plug it into the three pin 240 volt power point but we don't have one of those here good morning <laughs> the toast <laughs> let's see how it works Did it get thrown out the door? <laughs> Need some fresh air. Oh, good morning. Give them to the boys for breakfast. I'll put all the tips the boots come take a Oh yeah, good morning. Kind of forgot to vlog yesterday, but I spent the afternoon with Dad and then last night, um, Cameron Logan came over and now he's putting his burnt toast on their tent so that the birds come and peck at it. Okay, it is 12.23 and mum's mum went to work at like 9 o'clock this morning. She took the car because today we're moving back into our batch because people who have been living there or staying there this weekend, they're moving out today. But until we can get back into the batch, we are just chilling out. Cameron and Logan packed down their tent went out for breakfast and they just came back and they've just headed off now. They're going to Cathedral Copenhagen for the afternoon, I think. But Dad and I are now packing up the caravan and getting it ready to like move because when you like if you haven't stayed in a camper van before you may not know but when you obviously when you're living in the camper van you put things on top of like the bench and you put stuff in random places but when you want to drive you have to like put everything back where it belongs otherwise you start to drive and things are just flying everywhere we're gonna go grab some lunch and go down to the harbour we've just pulled up at the dump station to dump off our uh, toilet from the last three days i'm not going to show you this because no one, no one wants to watch this but i have to go endure it so i wish me luck we have got our lunch and we've arrived back in at the harbour here so we're gonna sit and have some lunch we have made it yes i can pee in an actual toilet and 
shower and an actual shower now. Mmm, smells really good in here. The people who did it just here must have really nice smelling perfume or something, but... Welcome to my bedroom. Now time to go get, retrieve my things out of the camper van because they are spread out everywhere. Good morning guys. I said shower, wash my hair, which I haven't done since Friday because we're in the camper van and it just wasn't really going to work. So my hair was definitely in need of a wash so now it feels much better. I have a test this morning at 11am which goes for half an hour which is just 20 true or false questions which shouldn't be too hard hopefully. I did some study last night and read through all 79 pages of notes that I had but hopefully we'll be okay. Mum and Dad have both gone to work this morning so I've got the place to myself. You can probably hear the washing machine going, taking off and going to space in the background. Um, I need to hang out the washing in a minute because it's all of my washing from uni, which I brought down here with me. I also probably will do the dishes from last night's dinner, which was um, hot and sour soup, I think. Mum made it, because my dad can't eat onion and garlic, so we have to get a bit creative with what we eat, like for dinner and stuff. I got a video of that, so I'll chuck it in now. But it was quite nice. It was like Thai kind of flavours. It was a little bit like, gave me a little bit of Pad Thai vibes to be honest. But it was, it was good. Then I'm going to sit down and read some of this. And then I will see what happens. Probably by then it will be like 10 o'clock. And then I'll be getting my mind in the zone for the test. I am apologise as well. The vlogging on this trip, I haven't been too good at it. It's a beautiful day. No clouds in the sky. Oh, okay, never mind, there's clouds over there. But nah, it's a really nice day, which is awesome. Love being at the beach. I was thinking yesterday, like, I just feel so... Like, I haven't really done anything while I'm here, which is good, because Rachel literally sent me a message on Saturday morning. So in the camper van, I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, there's nothing to do here. Like, I've got no car. I can't go anywhere. And she's like, Emma, relax. You don't relax, so take this opportunity and relax. And I'm like... Okay, fine. And so I did. And I um, haven't done that one in a while. It was quite nice. Because my friends, <laughs> I mean, I appreciate them looking out for me, but they always say how I just never stop doing stuff. I think this has been good for me to just do nothing. Kind of a little bit of a break that I needed. Uni, although it finishes next week, I have some awesome things I'm very excited for that I have planned for my website. So if you haven't already seen, and you may be a little bit confused about the whole EGS apparel thing, um, the washing machine's about to stop. You'll find out more later on. Oh yeah, there's a the washing machine. All right. All right. <clears throat> it is five minutes to 11 and I'm about to do my test. I hang out the washing, done two loads, hang out two loads of washing actually, did the dishes, read four chapters of Acts in the Bible. And I just turned on my hotspot to my laptop and opened my emails and got flooded with stuff. I'm a little bit nervous for this, not gonna lie, because it's worth 20% of my grade for this paper. So every question that I get right is a mark that I'll get. Which is like, that's quite, that's quite a lot. Like, one question per percent, that's quite a lot. Anyway, I need to get in the zone, talk to you guys after. And test is done. So I actually finished it like 15 minutes ago. But it took me like 22 minutes, I think. It wasn't super hard, hopefully. There were a couple I was confused on, but hopefully they'll come back okay. I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous. But anyway, it's done. And now I'm sorting out my degree for next year because they've actually changed the Bachelor of Communication Studies at Waikato University now, so it's just Bachelor of Communications, which means that they've actually changed some of the papers around. With the students who have already started with the Bachelor of Communication Studies, which is me, they're giving us the option to either stay and do what we basically signed up to do, or we can change to the new communications degree, but not have to do any of the first year stuff. Like, we can just carry on as we, like, we don't have to go back and do anything, if that makes any sense. At university, you do, like, four papers per semester, the way that mine works out, I have five papers in the first semester and three papers in the second semester. I'm like in contact with someone at the university trying to sort it out now, but I'm about to lay out some little sticky note things here and try and make some sense out of this because my brain is hurting trying to just do it like on a computer screen. It is quarter to one now and I'm kind of not really having a hope of luck with my degree planning. It's looking like I'm going to have to take a third year paper next year, which... You gotta do what you gotta do, not ideal, but we'll get over it. I have decided to make myself some lunch. I, if you're from New Zealand, you'll know exactly what this is and you'll know that it tastes amazing. If you're not from New Zealand, well, this with some chips and some bread and we have a nice mama chip sandwich. I was trying to think of how I could explain this and like what it tastes like, but 
Honestly, Marmite's on its own vibe. I have no idea what to compare this to. Obviously, if you're Australian, it's similar to Vegemite, but better. Tastes great with chips. These are, um, these are just salted ones. It does taste better, in my opinion, with salt and vinegar chips, but kind of everything. I'm going to eat this. And then I think, well, I was thinking of something I had to do. That's right. I asked you guys to send me through recommendations of hairdressers in either Auckland or Hamilton. And I got absolutely inundated with responses. So I want to go through and try and choose one. Because my hair, I've got it in a plait at the moment. So I can don't have to straighten it. Um, and it'll go curly and look nice. I need to get it cut. Like quite a lot. And coloured. So next up we have avocado and mama. I've actually put it on these brown rice crackers. Because I figure that's perhaps a little bit healthier than some bread. But don't shoot it till you've tried it guys. Okay we've all tried avocado toast. We've been there. We've done that. That's boring. But how do you... You should jump. No, that's not the right word. How to take your avocado toast to the next level is to put marmite on the toast or the brown rice crackers or whatever you want to do. Because trust me, it'll be the best thing you've ever tasted. I used to have this on cruskets as a kid from when I was like five years old. And considering I'm still eating it now, 13 years later, it must be pretty good. So, uh, yeah. And there was also Sprite and pineapple juice in the fridge. So I've just made like a two to one Sprite and pineapple juice drink. What's up guys? 20 to 6. Where are my parents? Wouldn't have a clue. I've just been sitting here reading a bit of the House and Garden magazine. I spent like an hour, hour and a half maybe looking through all your guys' recommendations for hair colouring people. So I narrowed it down to two. So one's in Tamahiri and one's in Hamilton. And I also narrowed down to the photo of what I want. That kind of type of thing. But I want it much shorter than that. The two that I narrowed it down to is Bottega in Tamahiri and Victoria James in Chartwell. Okay. It is 10 minutes past six. I just googled to see the opening hours of where my parents are working at the moment. The shop closed at 5.30. So I was like, where are they? So I didn't call because they're in the Tesla and I have the Tesla app signed in on my phone which means I can track the car. So where are they? Well, a few minutes ago they were driving down this road and I was like, okay, yep, they're on the way home. I look again, why are they not here? It's because they're taking the long way home. I genuinely think they've forgotten that I'm here. Actually, good afternoon because I suck at vlogging. It is 12.48pm on Tuesday, Wednesday, 28th of October. And my parents are both at work again. I've just made myself some lunch and just ate it. And I'm currently chilling out waiting for dad to come home from work at like quarter past one. And then he's going to take me to the turn off from the Hikawai Road and Whangamata. And Owen's parents are meeting me there because they are coming back from Fitianga. And then they're going to take me back to Hamilton. I'm leaving at like half past one and hopefully we'll meet them there about the same time. My camera's flashing. You know what? Let's close this vlog here. I know this has been all over the place, but thank you for watching. It's been a good trip away. Feeling very refreshed. Ready to get back into the last... 10 nights of staying at uni which is kind of a crazy but yeah apart from that stay safe stay well make someone smile and i'll see you in my next video i don't think i could ever live in a camper van this lighting isn't too good eh <laughs> <laughs> who are you i'm in the jog what am i doing